So I don't know what you want to um, talk about first. There's a big news story with um, Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib have been banned from Israel. I'm we'll talk about that for a few well, minutes. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I'm actually going to take. I'm actually going to twist that around because uh, you know everyone's noticing about the banning. Well, I'm noticing something else. Uh, CNN had somebody on just a few hours ago, like in the afternoon. They were talking about the banning, and what they were saying is, here's the funny part. They were saying that the Democratic Party is becoming more, they didn't use the word anti-Semitic, but I'm going to use the word anti-Semitic because uh, it's becoming more anti-Israel as a party. Um, and uh, this guest host that they had on one of these talking heads, um, he was lamenting the fact that what Trump was doing was elevating uh, um, these two, you know, these two uh, uh, Al-Qaeda squad members uh, to the point where they're the... <laughs> They're rep they're representing the Democratic Party, and he and, and he thinks that's detrimental I, to I Israel. I think they're a psyop or something. They're like Manchurian candidates. They're I think they're ridiculous. I, I think well, you know whether you, uh, so obviously Israel's polarizing. See, some people love it. Some people hate it. I think regardless of your opinion of Israel, that any country has the right to ban whoever they want to. And if you talk. If you talk shit about, like, uh, let's say you talk shit about Poland, whatever random, doesn't even matter, any country, any random country, and you just talk shit and you say that country shouldn't exist and or whatever, you just talk, like, massive amounts of shit and you want to boycott them, and that country says you're banned, well, duh. I mean, it's not, I mean, I would understand if they didn't ban them, but it's not surprising. It's not an injustice, I don't think. I mean, what? they're so anti-American. I wish they could be banned from America, but unfortunately they can't be at this point. So uh, Ilhan well, Omar you, has some uh, problems with her uh, marriage stuff. So. Well, Michael Savage, <laughs> immigration Michael status. Savage, uh, you're totally correct. Mike, Michael Savage, the talk, uh, the right wing talk show radio host, was banned from the UK because he said. Oh, stuff the UK that bans was, all kinds of people. Right, exactly. So no I'm one surprised they didn't ban eye. Trump. <laughs> you know, uh, well, yeah, they wanted to. Oh, you forgot they did want to ban Trump. Remember? They, yeah, the they UK is ridiculous. They banned people to drop of yeah. a hat. Well, here's the thing, and and, and I'll, um, I'm going to go back on your thing about Israel. I'm actually, um, I'm not anti-Israel. I'm pro. Um, I, I'm a normie. I, I'm I'm a total normie when it comes to Israel. I'm one of these people that believes that. Israel has a right to exist, and the Palestinians should have a country made out of the West Bank and and, and Gaza Strip. You know, um, I'm not a I'm not a, I'm pro Palestinian in that regard that they should have their own country made out of the West Bank and and, and the Gaza Strip. Um, the way it used to be normal to think this way for like the longest time until recently, and and the Israeli right wing has a problem by you know. Taking more Palestinian land, yeah, I think they have I'm, kind of an issue with like a manifest destiny thing. I'm, I'm, yeah, look, I'm a little bit in the middle on Israel, though. I lean more towards being like pro-Israel because they're our ally, etc. But I think a lot of the criticisms are, are valid, though. Listen, just because I say I'm, I support the, uh, the Palestinians having their own country, at the same time, the Palestinians are fucking terrorists. So you know, it's, well, not you know, all. The, of them. Some of them are not all of them, but. <laughs> You know, like, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them are, you know, so it's just one of those countries. Well, yeah, I'm not 100 percent pro-Palestinian, but I'm pro-Palestinian enough that I support their right to have a nation. But I think Israel goes a little overboard in trying to crack down on the Palestinian rights, too. With that said, with that said, uh, what I think Trump is doing, which I think is brilliant, and I think the CNN guest host kind of highlighted this, is Trump. There's always been a wing of the Democratic Party that hated on Israel for left-wing solidarity with PLO reasons. And the PLO, let's, let us not forget, the, P, the Palestine Liberation Organization was a left-wing terrorist group, as in they were trained in the Eastern Bloc. They had a, uh, the, ter the terrorism was socialist-based. It wasn't like, uh, people, we kind of think that the PLO was doing jihad shit, that they were doing it for the Koran or for Islam. Not the case at all. The PLO, all those hijacking of planes and stuff, was done for communist reasons. Like uh, uh, they had um, they had a representation in, in the Eastern Bloc, the Warsaw Pact. That's where they got their training, their weapons, whatnot. So uh, the left has always there's always been a segment of the Democratic Party, a small one, but it was all. 
Anyway, what I was saying about the, uh, Trump's genius, his political genius, is he took an existing but small and irrelevant but growing currently branch of the Dem Democrats that are pretty anti-Israel, pro-Palestine, pro-PLO, very left-wing, very like uh, uh, disturbing to the American people. And he weaponized it against the Democrats. And the CNN guy, he was on there. He was upset that Trump did this because, um, you know, he said, like, Trump should be teaming up with Nancy Pelosi. He literally said this. He said that Trump should be teaming up with Nancy Pelosi to fight the squad, and, uh, you know, and get rid of the squad rather than Trump weaponizing the squad against the Democrats, you know. So uh, I think what Trump is doing is politically genius. He's using, he's telling people, look, the Democrats, the Democrats might come out and appear to be nice and normal and stuff, but they're, but they're fucking wackos uh, uh, because they listen to their wacko wing a lot or their wacko wing is growing. 